What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So if you missed the last video, definitely check it out. We got the block, I'll paint it up. So today we gotta get started putting this thing back together. So first thing we need to do is make sure these rings are in spec. I know the last video I showed you guys, they were really, really close. Um, I am gonna go through and just make sure they're all perfect. After we get those rings perfect, we can flip this motor over, throw the crank in it for the last time, drop the pistons in, and start getting this thing complete once again. So let's measure these rings out one more time. I know the oil ring was a little bit tight, which I'm gonna open up just a little bit. Um, and I might just barely open these up, just a touch. When your gap is too tight, uh, especially on a motor where you're running higher boosts, getting higher temperatures, you can actually butt the rings up and cause some damage so we don't want that so we're gonna possibly open these up just a little bit all right working on these top rings so these are really close um i know you're probably not going to be able to see it in the video but they are not completely square i can get the feeler gauge in about halfway um, but the outside of the ring touches first. So what I'm doing is just barely grinding the outside just to get the, the ring square. And that opens it right up to 0.4 millimeters, right where I want it. So I just got a little ring file here. These are easy to use. You just stick it in, make sure it's square with the ring and the, and the file and just file it down just a little bit at a time. And then you usually end up with a little bit of a burr. So just take a little flat file and just barely, you don't want to bevel the edge. You just want to take that burr off and just so it doesn't get caught up in the piston all. So I'm going to go through, do all the top rings and then I'll do the second ring and uh, get these things all right where I want them. All right, we got all the gaps on the rings good to go. So now we can throw all the rings back on the pistons, get them on the rods for good. And then we can throw the crank in. So let's get to putting these rings on. Rings are on pistons, rods are on the pistons. Make sure that you put your gap for the circlip up. You want it away from that <clears throat> little cutout. And if you guys have ever done a motor, I'm sure you know, but you gotta offset your rings. I'm gonna obviously do that right before I put them in to the block. So now I'm just gonna take all my bearings out, make sure the back sides are 100% clean, put the uh, assembly lube here on the out on the inner bearing surface so i'll do the same thing on the mains i'll pull those out clean them up real good then we can grab the crank drop it in and torque that crank down
All right, we got the crank in and torque down. These bolts are torque to yield bolts, so they always need to be replaced. Um, they are a 48 foot pounds plus a quarter turn. I am torquing it to 48 foot pounds, but I'm leaving out the quarter turn for now until I get the rods and pistons, everything in, make sure my oil squirters line up, make sure everything is good before I do that 90 degrees. Because once you do that, you need to replace those bolts. And if I have to pull that crank back out, then I'll, I'll be waiting for more bolts. So I'm gonna write that down, make sure I remember to torque these, but I'm gonna leave them right there. And like I said, get the piston, rods, everything together, make sure it's all good. And then I'll do that 90 degrees on those main caps. All right guys, so what you wanna do with your rings, you wanna stagger them like I said. So you can see I got one ring in, the top is right there. Then a second gap, the second gap is here and then the oil ring gap is on the other side. So you just want to stagger those. Yeah, they're going to move when the engine runs, but you don't want them lined up because you can just leak compression straight through the, the end gap. So that's always good to do. And then what I'm using is one of these little tapered um, ring compressors. We're going to try it out. So this is the 80 mil and should work pretty good. You just slip it on the piston and it's tapered so the rings compress as you push it down and then you just slide it right into the cylinder so we're going to oil everything up and see how she goes in All right, we got pistons in. So number one went in really easy. <clears throat> Maybe I just got lucky. Um, two, three, and four, I kept catching the oil ring. So I just heated up the block a little bit with a torch. And then they slid in a lot easier. So a little tip for you guys, if you, if you catch that ring, just heat the block up, it'll expand it just a little bit. And you gotta go pretty quick with a piston when you snap it through. So the rings, if you go slow, the rings will kinda, there's, there'll be a little bit of a gap um, between that that ring compressor and the block so those the oil ring is super super thin um, and it, it'll catch on the block so you gotta be careful but snap it in fast heat the block up and uh, should work pretty good so I just gotta flip this over go through everything one more time make sure everything is perfect and then I'll torque the mains and the rods and then we can start putting everything else together
everything's torqued down she still spins over nice and smooth so that's a plus so now I think what I'm gonna get done is get the oil pump on chain tensioner all that stuff like I've said in previous videos I'm doing the BRM upgrade so it's the ALH pump but it's a smaller gear and it's a small a shorter chain and a different tensioner I believe um, but it gives you more oil pressure because it spins the pump faster with a smaller sprocket so we're gonna put that on then we can get this whole front case on the front and then I suppose we could probably get the oil pan on get that covered up so we don't get any dirt and then we can flip it over get the head on it so here's the pump this is the like I said BRM setup so this is a different tensioner this is the gear that's you got to swap out on the uh, on the pump itself so you can see how much smaller it is and then a shorter chain so we got to swap that gear then we can throw the pump on they give you bolts and then I, I thought they gave you a pickup but I don't have one so I'm gonna have to steal the one off my old pump and bolt that on give you o-ring for it so pretty simple All right guys, to get that old sprocket off, I just stuck a screwdriver through the holes and I came in, kind of caught it on this edge and it popped right off. But this new sprocket's a different story. So what I'm gonna try is to use the old chain and a pair of pliers and kind of hold the chain as I torque it. It's, the torque spec is 18 foot pounds. So I'm gonna get this set up. We'll get some thread locker on it. All right, this pickup's kind of beat up. Looks like somebody must have hit something with it. And uh, a bunch of crap inside. I really don't feel like putting that in a brand new motor, so I want to order a new pickup. So for now, we can get this front cover on, get that all buttoned up. All right, next I'm gonna tighten up this bolt. So that crankshaft bolt is 89 foot-pounds plus a quarter turn. It is a one-time use bolt, so I have the new one in there. And got my little ghetto crank holder tool. So I'm gonna crank this thing down. All right, we got this thing close enough for the head. So what I'm gonna do is clean this surface, make sure there's no oil at all, um, clean the head surface, and then actually got my gasket right in the nick of time. So we are good to go there. Got my head studs in that bag. So let's get this thing cleaned up. And I'm actually gonna put it at top dead center as well, just so I know for a fact when I put that timing belt on, the crank is at TDC. Um, there is actually a mark on the pulley here on the, the actual harmonic balancer and then the outer timing cover so if you put those on there is actually a timing mark on there 
to verify top dead center as well. But while I have the hat off, I'm just going to set it so I know for a fact we're at TDC. Got the hat on, torque down, everything's good to go there. Next order of business, we gotta throw in all the lifters and the cam. So when you when you put these lifters in, do not use an assembly lube. It's too thick for around the you know around the lifter bore. Um, the lifter won't be able to rotate at all. Just use engine oil. Um, so I'm gonna dump some oil in here and use oil. And I guess you can use assembly lube on the caps on the cam but i'm just gonna douse it with some oil get the lifters in get the cam in and like i said this motor's at tdc right now so make sure when you put this cam in number one lobes are pointed up so it doesn't open that number one valves at all because you will hit the piston and it's possible to bend a valve even without running the motor at all just smashing that valve into the piston so make sure that those lobes are pointed up. Alright guys, we got the cam in, torque down, got the valve cover on just to keep the dirt out of it. So that is how she's looking. I'm really excited to get the rest of it on with all that powder coating, Cerakote. It's, I think it's going to look really good. All Basically all the bottom end, all the stuff that bolts on the bottom end is going to be black. And then we got the aluminum head, little red accents, and then all my intercooler piping, all that stuff, turbo, all that's black. So I think it's going to look really sweet. So I'm excited to get everything else on this motor, get it complete, and see how it looks. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Let me know what you think, um, how this thing's coming along. I think it's turning out pretty sweet. I'm excited to get it complete. So the next video... We're going to complete the motor. We're going to get timing, all the timing components on, the injection pump, all that good stuff. So get this motor 100% complete and ready to go into the truck. So give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and check back on the next video. You're going to enjoy that one. See you guys.